It is going down for real, myself and Jared Barrick. Uh, I don't want to use the official, like, long 110 billion words. What would be the, the quickest, shortest title for what you do? Director? <laughs> youth director. Youth director. We'll go with that. I uh, like that one. CYSS yeah. youth director uh, in the studio with me talking child youth and school services. And this one uh, just came down for us uh, personally. I'm sure you guys knew about it before, but a very cool clinic to get your kids involved with, especially if they love some football. Is that correct? Absolutely. Uh, we've been working hard. The youth sports department, the FMWR, uh, CRD department, working hard the last few months um, to bring this opportunity to uh, actually youth all across the peninsula. Sure. It's be open to uh, uh, students at Camp Humphreys, uh, Seoul, Osan, um, Daegu, everybody. Um, it's going to be a football clinic um, hosted by USA Football which is the sport's national governing body. It leads the game in development, inspires participation, and creates better and safer experiences for youth, high school, and other amateur football players. That's quite the mission. It is. It's I a- imagine they accomplish it if they're coming all the way to the Republic of Korea, but uh, my understanding is they're going to have a lot of uh, former like NFL players and coaches putting this on as trainers. Yes, it's, for, it's actually going to be former trainers, players, coaches, just like you just said, um, all affiliated one way or another um, with the National Football League. Um, and all of these are now, um, you know, their profession now is geared towards continuing to build the game of football, yeah. teaching young people the correct way to play um, so they can continue to build the game and create a safer environment for uh, future football players. You know, Sh- concussions sure. and everything such a big issue in the NFL. Anytime you watch anything oh, yeah. about those stories, the big key is trying to bring younger players together learning the right way to play and I think that's what the mission of USA football is um, and it, it's, it's amazing that they're going to come globally and try to spread this to and give this great opportunity for our high school students here. Sure and like uh, family wise the the age brackets uh, I believe correct me if I'm wrong they're looking at like 7 to 18 there's kind of like two separate clinics going on one for kind of like the high schoolers or graduates so to speak and then the younger group as well. Yeah that's exactly right there's going to be two separate clinics the first one is going to be on Saturday May 2nd and that's the one that's geared towards current high school football football players. Um, so you're thinking about, um, you know, maybe when we grew up, you always had summer camps for, yeah. for the off seasons. So that's sure. what this is going to be for, for the current students. So it's more in-depth. It, it's more about giving them the opportunity to actually try out for this U.S. national team. And that's pretty awesome. That's pretty huge. Like, you, you we're, we're obviously broadcasting with three different installations, you know, Camp Humphreys, Osan, and Suwon. But effectively, uh, like you just said, putting it out pen-wide, obviously, on our app. I'm sure there's people listening as well. We want to make sure that all of you know that even though it's held at Camp Humphreys if I'm not mistaken right this will all be at Camp Humphreys it's all at Camp Humphreys yes and but you can register um, at your local um, uh, community activity center or your CYS station Um, Humphreys is taking registrations for Camp Humphreys and for OSAN sure but all the other installations can register at their own spot and uh, registration deadline I want to say it's uh, next Friday do you you have a date on 24th yeah I'm pretty sure that's next Friday so effectively nine days from today if you're listening to this right now and your ears are kind of perking up or maybe your child is as well, make sure you jump on that because we want to make sure that if those slots fill up that your child gets a chance before that happens. Yes, the spaces are limited. I can see for the CYS clinic on Sunday, it's limited to 150 spaces. Um, the high school clinic on Saturday, May 2nd, is 25 spaces per installation. Yeah. So it is limited. So the earlier you can sign up, the better. And it's a great price. $20 registers you for the high school clinic. I mean, that goes from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. I mean, uh, we're talking all, about something you'll never forget. Exactly. It includes all three meals, which is, you know, that that's, covers the registration sure. right there. And then the opportunity for those young people to get out there um, you know catch the eye of maybe somebody who has an inside you know looking for college scholarships and things like that it's harder for uh, DoDEA students overseas to get noticed and and, and get opportunities like this so if you are a football player on the peninsula I strongly encourage you to get out there if for nothing else to catch the eye uh, make some friends sure uh, make some connections that could help you you know you just never know you don't you never know you've run an unbelievable 40 your phone could be ringing tomorrow you know with a great educational opportunity when I lived in Los Angeles uh when I was an actor before enlisting, I got there and they're like, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And I'm not advocating that. I'm not condoning that, so to speak. But unfortunately, a lot of the world does work that way and connections can mean a lot. That's the way it is sometimes. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and if you're a football player for $20, just come out and have fun yeah. and have that opportunity. Even if you just have a good day and have fun playing football. Sure. Um, you know, my experience, I really love football and enjoy playing it. So yeah. just the opportunity to be out there all day in an off season, running around, getting sure. to meet some former players and coaches and, and other players throughout the peninsula. Uh, it's a great opportunity. 
Um, and also Sunday, May 3rd is the CYS one, and that's the one that's geared towards ages 7 through 16. So it's yep. a little bit younger, looking basically more at the fundamentals of the game, maybe learning to play the game, not necessarily for the experienced high school player sure. today. So we kind of opened it up the next day to get more people involved, some of the younger students involved, maybe catch their eye, and maybe they'll you know start to enjoy the game of football more and want to pursue it further, or maybe they're just looking to play high school football in the future um, and want to learn some basic fundamentals to get them started. There you go. So mark your calendars the 2nd and 3rd. It's a Saturday and Sunday of May. Just make sure you register by next Friday. That's a big takeaway. I want to make sure you know. We'll take our first break here. we got more show on the way with Jared right after this. Appreciate you coming along and listening to the show. I got Jared Barrick still in the studio with me, CYSS Youth Services Director, Child Youth and School Services, if you're not familiar with the program. And we've already touched on the football clinic coming the second and third of Saturday and Sunday in May. If you want to get your kids involved, check out with your local community activity center or parent central services for that one. But you guys got lots of stuff. Uh, coming up. Uh, another one you want to highlight or another couple? Oh, yes. We always have lots of stuff coming true. up. Uh, we got a field trip for the 6th uh, through 12th graders on Saturday, May 9th. Uh, now that the weather is warm again, we're going to head back outside into Seoul, and we're heading to Seoul Tower and Myeongdong yeah. on Saturday, May 9th. Have and you been to Seoul Tower yet? I've, I've been to Seoul Tower more times than I'd like to Then he'd like to admit on this show, he's like, but I'm going to try my best to say how awesome it is. I love Seoul Tower. <laughs> I love it so much. I well, cry on the, the inside. It makes the trip easier now because I think I can be a registered tour guide when it comes yeah. to Soul Tower now. So everybody is safe and in good hands if you attend this trip on Saturday, May 9th. You'll be with a Soul Tower <laughs> veteran. I just picture it now like the Koreans are like, sir, you're uh, you're actually taking work away from the staff. Could you please stop? I'll answer anybody's questions <laughs> on Soul Tower. No you're, problem. You're like interrupting like local nationals and like using like the Korean language as well. But like, wow, he's really been here. He loves that place. <laughs> But I know a very popular place, and I would wager there's quite a few people that are listening that have not gone and want to give an opportunity to check it out. Soul Tower, very similar to kind of like the Space Needle uh, in Seattle. It's pretty similar to that. Yeah, it's a great opportunity um, for those people who um, may, may be new or, or sure. maybe PCSing on the way out. Just want to get it one more chance to hang out in Seoul and, and get a different view and take a lot of cool photos yeah. um, from the top of Soul Tower. Um, so we're going on Saturday, May 9th, and it's a $15 registration fee uh, for CYS registered youth in grades 6 through 12. And that will include the transportation there, uh, include the sky ride ticket to the Seoul Tower, and we'll try to get up to the observatory too. So it'll include all of that for only nice. fifteen dollars. Um, the youth will just need to bring their own Korean wine um, to pay for lunch and any shopping they may want to do in Myeongdong. So it's all in one. These aren't two separate trips. No, all in one trip. We'll okay. get to Seoul Tower in the morning, usually about ten or ten thirty, which is perfect timing because it's not too busy. I yet. was just gonna say because it gets crazy busy. Yep. Again, that's my veteran brain kicking there in on go. Seoul Tower. So it's we'll, almost like you've done this before. Yeah, we'll get there in time, mm. so we won't have to worry about the big crowds and the, and the youth will sure. get plenty of good pictures yeah. um, and get some good views of Seoul. And Myeongdong um, itself is actually one of my favorite places to go in Seoul it, because um, it's there's so much like you can shop and see and do. Yeah, there's everything to do there, um, and the young people. People like it too. There's so much different street food and stuff that yeah. you can grab, so they love grabbing those snacks and those kinds of things. Um, so we go straight from Seoul Tower, uh, walk right across under the, the subway station, yeah. take it underground, not to worry about crossing the street, right over to Myeongdong, mm -hmm. um, and then break them up into really small groups because it's pretty crowded over there. So they'll all be with staff members walking through Myeongdong, be able to get some lunch, do sure. some shopping. Um, maybe they want to pick up some souvenirs or some clothes or stuff for the summertime that they might not be able to pick up at the at the PX at Camp Humphrey. Sure. Um, so just a good opportunity if you like to shop. Good opportunity if you haven't been down to Seoul too often. Um, just for $15 on Saturday, May 9th. The trip will leave the Youth Center at 9 a.m. and will return at 5 p.m. There you go. Too easy. And then registration deadline one more time if they want to go on this one. Registration deadline will be Wednesday, May 6th. Wednesday, May 6th, just a few days before. Not Absolutely. too shabby. No, not, it's not filled up. We'll extend it. But try to register by Wednesday, May 6th to guarantee your spot on the bus. There you go. So one check mark, CYSS Football Clinic, two check marks, Seoul Tower, Myeongdong Field Trip, and the third check mark, figuratively speaking, is the save the date for the Teen Summer Jam. Yes, this is the biggest one of the year. My okay. favorite one, Teen Summer Jam. There you go. We've got a great one coming up. Please keep on listening right now. It's your Area 3 Radio News. What's up, we're Hot Shell Ray. And you're watching YCTV. Perfect. There we go. That, that easy. Nailed it. <laughs> and that's a wrap. 
Please don't go anywhere, at least for a few more minutes. Let us finish our interview. I would very much appreciate that. My name is Army Sergeant Aaron Loy, across, across from me, rather. Jared Barrick, CYSS Youth Services Director. I appreciate you being here, Jared. Thanks for having me again. I really enjoyed my time here. Uh, absolutely. Uh, well, one more thing to cover here, and it's a save the date. So I'm assuming someone's getting married, correct? Uh, I hope not. Not in the CYS <laughs> team program. Anyway, <laughs> of age, that would be a little awkward. You get the 12 year old that comes forward and says, check out the bling. And you're like, oh, boy, we need to have a talk. Yeah, no, we're not promoting that. But we no. are saving the date and we are promoting the third annual CYSS Teen Summer Jam. Very nice. I like what you did there. Nice segue. The Teen Summer Jam. What does that mean? Well, the Teen Summer it's our third time we're doing this. We're going over to Yanpo Beach. And it's an opportunity where we bring all the Army Garrison youth together um, at uh, one event. It's a two day Two-night extravaganza. Extravaganza! Filled with fun music, <laughs> Tell them what they've dancing, won. <laughs> character building, leadership wow. workshops. Just an opportunity to bring um, all the young people together from all over the peninsula. Uh, have a good time. Uh, make some new friends. Meet some new friends. Um, see how other people are living. Sure. You know, notice how you know kids are going through the same kind of things. Um, just have an opportunity to talk and socialize. So it's going to be on Sunday, June 28th, and we'll go through Tuesday, June 30th. Wow, and obviously save the date because that's a little while out. Yeah, we have a little bit of time. Um, we, we have we're not, have not opened the registration yet, so stay tuned for that. That will be opening up soon, um, and we'll have all the, the pricing information, the program information, sure. all that stuff ready, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Um, so by the end of April, we can start taking registrations um, and get a full trip um, for Sunday, June 28th. Um, like I said, it's our third year in a row. Um, the first year, we had about 54 youth out there. Last year, we had 82. So my goal is to be even bigger and better this year. I'm thinking 100 is a good number I'm to shoot for. I'm thinking 150. 150? That's what I want, 150. Hey, aim, aim high, right? Yes, sir, and we can do it. I um, think so. It, do, it, do kids have pretty good response for the first two years? Time. Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the second year was even better than the first year, um, and we've got even more oh, good. good ideas and ways to improve for this third year in a row. If, um, you had to, if you had to say one thing, pick one event that maybe that goes down there that maybe you like or you think the kids really respond to, what would be the one maybe event, program, activity? Probably the the Monday night dance. Oh, really? We're out there on the beach. We have wow. a bonfire going. Um, the young people have had the whole day to get to know each other Are already. army sergeants allowed to go? Actually, you can go to the Family and MWR <gasps> Boss what? Beach Blast, oh boy. which will take place on the Friday through the Sunday before, which is how this event actually came about. We are uh, oh. lucky enough um, to have a great partnership with uh, our CRD over there at Family and MWR, and we're allowed to piggyback off the oh, Boss nice. Beach Blast event, That's which awesome. is something they do every year, and we get an opportunity to use um, some leftover supplies and recreation activities um, sure. for the kids. So it's a great partnership that got started a couple years ago that's continuing to grow every year. Absolutely. Um, so while I'm on the air, too, save the date for the Boss Beach Blast and contact your family in MWR um, for more details on that. There you go. So save the date, the 28th through the 30th. And again, you guys will be pushing that out. Uh, lots of different places. You guys have your Facebook page, the Garrison Facebook page. You guys have your Flickr and all that jazz. And of course, the CYSS as well. Yep. Humphrey CYS Teen. We're on Instagram. We have the MWR Facebook. Um, all the information will be out there very soon. That's too easy. We'll take a final break. We'll be back in 90 seconds to wrap up the show. Jared, I very much appreciate you coming on uh, from CYSS as Child Youth and School Services. We cover lots of stuff. The football clinic, get your kids involved. The 2nd and 3rd of May, make sure you register by next Friday, though. Great clinic for your kids with some football. And that's pretty much anyone pen wide. You can come to that event at Camp Humphreys. Also, Seoul Tower, Myeongdong Field Trip, Saturday, the 9th of May. Great one to really see the city. And then finally, a little bit further ahead, Teen Summer Jam, 28th through the 30th of June. We'll be pushing more information out different ways. And speaking of that, so uh, what's the best way that people can get involved with you guys and learn about what you guys have to offer? Uh, the best thing they can do is check out the Humphreys uh, CYS Teen Facebook page or the Family and MWR Facebook page. They'll get all the latest schedules, uh, information, registration information. They can call me directly at 753 753- 
888-5614. I can speak highly intelligently about all teen programs. And if you have other questions, I can direct you to the appropriate person um, to give you intelligent information. I want to like plant someone now like a mole to ask you like a really difficult question on your program to see if you can speak highly intelligently. I will speak highly intelligently. <laughs> I just hope it will be the correct answer. <laughs> there you go. Jared, I very much appreciate you coming on the show. Anything we missed uh, today that we need to push out or any shout outs you want to do? I just wanted to give a shout out to the Spring Fest uh, going on May 30th over at Camp Humphreys. Um, M- Family and MWR does it every year. Um, the CYS Teen Center will be out there selling hot dogs. So if you make it out there, buy a hot dog so we can support our teen summer jam. Um, but they got the Lieutenant Band Band coming out there this year. Yeah. May 30th. He's so great. That's, yes, it's going to be a big deal. I think it's going to be a lot of people out there. So sure. save that date, May 30th. Very much appreciate that. He's a very good man, Jared Barrick, CYSS. Let's get back into the music. This is Life of Dylan. Life of Dylan. 